Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a fantastic day. And you know, it's that time of the week where I release my little invitation, inviting you to come to worship the Lord with me here tonight at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. We're going to study the scriptures together. This has been a very busy time for us. Last night we were over cross town at uh, Generation Temple, Regeneration Temple Church of God in Christ with the pastor Charles Washington and his lovely wife Julia and let me tell you the good people at Regeneration Temple and we had some church in there. So tonight we're going to be here at the, at the upper room studying the word of the Lord together. And my, has God spoken to me. You know, saints, uh, the late P.T. Bonham of Bonham and Bailey Circus said, there's a sucker born every minute. You know, P.T. wasn't off by much. Have you noticed the things that seem to go on today in the body of Christ? And uh, I'm not going to, uh, listen, I want to talk about shoring up your minds and making sure you stay rooted and grounded in biblical Christianity. But it's amazing to me the things now that are going on in the church. You know, uh, there is this new uh, tour, I guess, that Kanye West is on. I guess Kanye said, if, if Snoop Dogg could do it and he could Snoopify uh, the legends, then most certainly he can uh, uh, Kanye West or Westertize or whatever you want to call it, churches. And all of a sudden you got uh, uh, these artists, I guess fame means if you're famous, then that means you can just come in, you can commandeer a church service, you can do whatever you need to do to sell a CD to sell a record. And then once these cats, if you will, have accomplished their aim and their goal, uh, they go back to living the same. Well, they never stop. They never change their lifestyle. Snoop never stopped smoking marijuana. No, never even claimed to before he uh, made his gospel CD. And uh, so now we got Kanye doing it. I wonder who will be next. Maybe the drug dealer. When he wants to do something in the name of the Lord, maybe he can find a church or churches or go on a tour or get some le legends or whomever or whatever to endorse him as he does his thing for Jesus. But you know, the Bible is clear on this. We are called to holiness. The Bible says, be ye holy for I am holy. The Bible says, be ye clean who bear the vessels of the Lord. We're called as believers to be a light in darkness. We're called as believers to show the world the way. And we're also called, I'm called as a pastor and as a leader to warn the people of God to protect their minds that they not be tricked by the devil. Satan knows how to put lipstick on a pig, dress it up and make it look like it's something kissable and something desirable when at the end of the day, it's still a pig. Saints, don't let Satan take sin and wrap it up in beautiful, shiny wrapping paper and put a beautiful bow on it and sell it to you as though it is something other than sin. The devil is a liar. But God's word is true. God's word is holy. And I want to encourage the believers, stay in the word of God. Also, there is something to be said for you making sure you attend church service on a regular basis. The Bible teaches that we're not to forsake the assemblings of ourselves together. Come to the house of the Lord. Join in with your brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us pray together. Let us hear the word of the Lord together. Let us be fed. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait to share what God has given me uh, to give you tonight. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to cut this off.
because I, I want to drop some more hints. I want to tell you what's on my mind. I want to tell you what God has put on my heart, but it's got to wait. I got to wait. I got to keep this I got to keep this bull down, this rage in me to declare the word of God. I got to I got to wait till Bible study time tonight so we can study the scriptures together. We'll see you uh, at church. And I, I my prayer is God's choice blessings, that God's choice blessings be yours. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tonight.